forests are a vital resource, providing invaluable economic and environmental benefits to all of us. Forests filter the air we breathe and the water we drink, reduce soil erosion and act as an important buffer against global warming. Many of the world's most endangered animals depend on forests for their survival. Forests contribute directly to the livelihoods of 90% of over 1 billion people living in extreme poverty. Half of life as we know it on Earth has been documented by scientists to occur in forests. So if we look at the wildlife, the insects, uh, the full expression of life and all of the ways that we know it, intimately tied in with, with forests. So uh, scientists refer to that diversity of life as biodiversity. Forests play a central role in the world's environmental and economic health. Yet the world's appetite for cheap forest products drives irresponsible and sometimes illegal logging in vast areas of forest. How can forest companies secure their resource base for the long term so that they can meet the world's future needs for forest products? Can forests maintain their biodiversity and ecological values while continuing to provide the resources we need? Can the forest industry meet these needs in a responsible manner? We at WWF believe the answer is yes. If the world's forests are managed sustainably and responsibly, it is possible to supply all the world's wood requirements as well as maintaining biodiversity. And I think sustainable forest management is the best hope for conserving the biodiversity of the world's last great forest areas like uh, Borneo, like the Congo Basin, like the Amazon. An initiative of the international conservation group WWF, the Global Forest and Trade Network, or GFTN, is a global partnership that enables markets to work for forests. GFTN is made up of suppliers, producers and purchasers from across the spectrum of forest product business that are willing to lead the industry and responsible management and trade. The Global Forest Trade Network uh, works very cooperatively with customers, um, with large corporations to identify companies that are already interested in pursuing um, that sort of stepwise approach to ensuring that the, they're buying good wood and then supplying their customers with good wood products. Established in 1991, GFTN includes more than 300 companies and community-based operations trading in more than $48 billion of forest products across over 30 producing and consuming countries in Europe, the Americas, Africa and Asia. GFTN offers a way forward for certified legal and sustainable forestry, providing timber companies with a model that is based on responsible management rather than opportunistic extraction. To help companies move towards this model, GFTN offers technical assistance to help them achieve credible forest certification as well as market access to timber products that are certified or in progress to certification. But there remains significant trade in wood and pulp from illegal or controversial sources, which generates corporate risk for buyers and suppliers and threatens the economic viability of responsible producers. If you're in the business of sourcing wood or fibre, you can't ignore the risk. Illegal logging, and logging of high conservation value forests, trade in illegal products, all of these things are likely to hit your brand and be a risk to your business. WWF is aiming to get to a tipping point when it becomes unprofitable and unacceptable for the forest industry to be trading in forest destruction. Currently about 10% of the world's timber is traded through GFTN member companies, but clearly we have to get that up to a much higher proportion so that the GFTN approach becomes mainstream throughout all of the industry. The rewards of GFTN membership include increased business security and an enhanced corporate reputation. Through partnership with like-minded companies, forest product companies worldwide can ensure a reliable timber supply embrace corporate responsibility and join the company of businesses hoping to lead the forest products industry to a new era of smart management coupled with environmental and social stewardship.